Okay, hi everyone, Tremaine Hayhoe here. Hope you're having a great day. I am here to give you a little news and information. A lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions about Hayhoe Studios, about Rideshare Movie, about where it's at, where it's going, and where Hayhoe Studios is going as a whole. So here I am to inform you with this news. Got my handy dandy news. Don't look, don't look, don't cheat. Okay, <laughs> um, so I wanted to update you guys on a few things. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Tremaine Hayho, and I am the founder of Hayho Studios. It's true, it's a true story. We made a movie called Rideshare, it's on Amazon Prime. It's been received very well so far. Uh, we've got some love and we've got some hate. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. So let's just jump right into it, okay? Um, all right, the number one thing, Rideshare Kickstarter update. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's been a few months since the Kickstarter uh, went off to Europe, so a lot of the special features and all the good stuff for the Kickstarter was on pause, but now it's in full force, in full effect. So I can officially announce here that the Rideshare DVD and Blu-ray will be released October first just in time for halloween i want to get you guys uh something really good it's been taking a long time because you, know, you know with the dvd you got to make a cover you got to do a lot of things but uh i'm excited to tell you a little bit of, of, of what's going to be on the dvd slash blu-ray you're going to get a blooper reel uh some solid bloopers from this movie they were a lot of fun um and uh so yeah you're going to get a blooper reel you're going to get a director's commentary now that's like, you know, you get to hear me throughout the whole movie talk about the movie. So if that's something you're into, that's what we're gonna have. Um, we're also gonna have uh, all of the uh, red carpet cast and crew interviews. Um, a lot of them are already up on YouTube. If you haven't seen them already, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. Um, but we're gonna have all of the uh, cast and crews, as many people that were there on the red carpet. Um, we're gonna get to see those interviews on the DVD. Um, also, we're going to have the special video that Jeremy Olinsky did. <laughs> he did the voice of the Crypt Keeper, and he did this really cool intro for the premiere uh, last year. I can't believe it's almost been a year. I know. Um, it's crazy. Um, and then now we're finally releasing the DVD. So, I mean, hey, these things take time. But yeah, that video is going to be on there. That, mo that uh, video was a lot of fun. Uh, we're also going to have the premiere version of the movie. So if you wanted to see it in the really raw, crappy audio version, but it has different music in it, there's a couple different scenes in it. Um, if you guys are interested in that, there is that uh, option as well. So um, that will be on there as well. Um, also, of course, the behind the scenes featurette, how we made the movie, behind the scenes of the movie, uh, you know, behind the scenes footage, us joking around on set, all that good stuff. All this stuff is taking time, you know, and, and I'm just one man. We're an indie movie. It's not a multi-billion dollar project just yet, just yet. Uh, so um, hopefully moving forward, we're gonna go, you know, we'll be a lot quicker with, with these things, uh, especially the DVD, but within a year, it's actually okay, I think. Um, but we're gonna keep doing better. Okay. Um, there might be a couple Easter eggs in the DVD. So if you go check out the DVD and um, you kind of play around looking at options and, and menu options and stuff, you may find a couple Easter eggs in there, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe you'll never find them. <laughs> um, oh, also a very cool announcement I'm super stoked about. Rideshare movie hit six million um, uh, minutes streamed on Amazon Prime. So, cheers, you guys! Cheers. Uh, we've been doing pretty well every single day. Um, you know, it's been going really well. It tapered off a little bit. Now it's going back up. Uh, so we had a couple really positive reviews, but from some positive people. So uh, that's been helping. And so every time you watch the movie, every time you rate it five stars, please gotta rate it five stars. 
nothing less. If you don't like the movie at all, just don't rate it. That helps. But if you do like the movie and you want to support independent cinema, give it five stars. Not four, not three, five out of five. Um, thank you, guys, so much. That helps me tremendously. Uh, so, um, okay. The Rideshare soundtrack. Now, I love the soundtrack of this movie. We've had some really, really uh, talented people from Mark Perrucini. I'm sorry, I'm like butchering his last name. We had Mark, we had Stan Egger, who did the end credits song. We had Sol y Mama, uh, who did an end credits song as well. Uh, and then we also had all the compositions by Alex Walker Smith with the variation of theme uh, composed by TJ. So TJ, you are, uh, TJ Milana is the man and he made the, uh, do, 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 whatever, I, I can't sing it very well, but he did, he wrote that bit. And then Alex Walker Smith, who's the man, he's been doing, um, he's done a lot of cool stuff and he worked really hard on the soundtrack. So, um, and the score of the movie. I mean, he worked really hard on the score of the movie. And so look out for that on the same day as the release of the DVD. So we're getting the DVD plus the soundtrack on the same day. What more could you ask for? Oh, you can ask for more because there's another thing that's coming out on October 1st. Whatever could that be? That is also a music video. So there's a music video to the movie. You didn't know that, right? That's a little surprise, little curveball. Um, so to celebrate the release of the soundtrack, we're releasing a music video uh, that we made especially for the movie. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna film myself uh, uh, reacting to mean comments uh, of Rideshare. So we've had some really interesting ones um, as of late. So definitely will be fun to react to those. Uh, and we're gonna react to the nice comments as well. Uh, there's been some really nice ones too. Some really over the top uh, nice comments and also some mean comments as well. So be on the lookout for that. Oh yeah, a lot of people have been asking me. What the heck happened to the Rideshare Movie website? And that's a great question. So we had um, my web designer uh, had the website on his server because he said that he would take care of it on his server. I paid him a good amount of money to make the website. And then the word is, I had to hear this word through the grapevine, that the server crashed and he lost the whole website, essentially. So I'm personally rebuilding the website because we're out of money right now. Uh, the guy completely ghosted me. Uh, he hasn't responded to me at all. Completely unprofessional. It's okay. I'm never going to hire him again. Don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, um, that sucks. But uh, actually, I already have a... Uh, provisional website done. It's not published yet, um, but look out for that in two weeks, which means once the actual website goes back up, uh, we're going to have merchandise. So merchandise from the movie. Um, I guess I could say a couple things. So um, there's going to be the movie posters. A lot of people have been asking me for a rideshare movie poster. So uh, those will be available for sale. Uh, there may be a few shirts, and then there may be something else just in time for Halloween. I could see, guess what that could possibly be. I don't know, I'll let you guys, um, hopefully, as long as everything goes well the next couple weeks, we can get that out in time for Halloween. So um, that will be really exciting with the website, uh, merchandise, and all this stuff. So that's pretty much it when it comes to rideshare. I swear, like this movie's been, it's been like this monkey that's been on my back for the last two years, essentially. <laughs> and now, finally getting to the final stretch to getting that all off my back. Oh, okay, people have been asking me about a sequel to rideshare. Is there a sequel? Um, no, not yet. Not 
yet. I'm not saying there's not going to be. I'm just saying at this current moment, um, we're not in the process of making one quite yet. So um, that's what that is. Okay, so let's go for what's next for Hey Ho Studios. A lot of exciting things. Now that we get the monkey off our back come October 1st with all the rideshare stuff, I know we'll be consistently doing rideshare stuff for years to come, uh, but I mean, all the main stuff for the first rideshare and all the stuff that needs to be done, it's gonna be done um, by then. So that's gonna be, that's very exciting. Trust me. <laughs> um, but what's next for the Hey Ho Studios channel? Um, I'm gonna, I'm starting to do some movie reviews. So I love movies and I like talking about movies. So why not do some movie reviews? Yay. Uh, right now we already have one that is up. The first one that's for the Meg. Um, and let me know if you like that style. I'm kind of playing with a different style, like different styles of, of how to do these movie reviews. Um, I think a lot of uh, like, you know, some quick cuts, uh, kind of a Jeremy Johns style. If you guys are familiar with YouTube movie reviewers, Jeremy Johns, I like his style a lot. Um, but this is Tremaine's style. All right. So it's completely different. Be a little bit more silly, a little bit more over the top. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I, I'm not going to say there's going to be one for every single movie, every single week. Um, but there's one already, you know, look for one to two per month, right? So that doesn't sound like a lot, but if I feel like, if, if there, if I feel a need to talk about a movie, I'll definitely talk about it. Um, and you know, if I do more, I might do more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay. People are like, Hey, are there any other movies coming out? And the answer is yes, there are more movies coming out. So many of you already know this, but if you didn't know, I directed a new movie called The Bachelor Party, starring Sean the Showstopper Valentino. Many of you guys know Sean Valentino from our reality show that we produced a couple years ago. It's probably the most cringeworthy, hilarious reality show in the history of the galaxy. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Uh, that's in the comments below. It's gonna prep you for this movie, but nothing can really prep you for this movie. And don't worry, the movie's a lot higher quality than, <laughs> than the show. Although I think the show, uh, you'll get a lot of laughs. At least we get a lot of laughs watching it. Um, as long, you know, just have fun watching it. Maybe have a couple drinks. Uh, and I swear, dude, I, I promise you guys, I swear like Reddit's gonna get a hold of this show and it will go viral at some point. It's only a matter of time. So in the meantime, follow the Bachelor Party movie on Instagram. Here's a link. Uh, it'll be linked in the description below as well. Um, also follow sh the showstopper, Sean Valentino. Uh, <laughs> you guys gotta follow this guy. I mean, he has the most over the top content, better than Dan Bilzerian, better than any anyone else. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this content, so go check it out. Rideshare alumni, Rich Twilling is in the movie, and also Hilly C alumni, <laughs> William Pierce. So if you guys saw that uh, music video parody that we made uh, during the election, Willie Pierce was in that as Billy C. Um, and he was really good. So he's a really funny guy. We also worked with a lot of attractive females. Uh, we've got Brooke, we've got actress Denise there. We've got Thug Leah there. We've got Brenda, then we've got Julie in there. So she's great. All these girls are great. Great cast, was a lot of fun making that movie. Um, so yeah, it's just so, so I directed this movie. I didn't produce it. I just directed, I helped a little bit with producing. Uh, but mainly this is a showstopper production. So we're looking forward to seeing that come fall. Should be, uh, the premiere should be November, December, hopefully. You know, I know how things, how movies go and they could take a little bit longer. So uh, that's what we're shooting for. Um, but it's not in my control right now. So, but it is at the same time. So uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay, that's that for that. Now, okay, so Tremaine, so you have a movie that you already made, Rideshare on Amazon Prime. 
Uh, and also, you have another movie coming out that's already in the can called The Bachelor Party that will be on Amazon Prime as well. Um, what else are you working on? What else you got, Tremaine? Well, I can officially say that we're in the very early pre-production stages on, yes, another movie. <laughs> and it's actually real exciting to be uh, working on another movie. And people are asking me, what is the subject matter of this movie? And I'm gonna tell them, I'm not gonna tell you, okay? You're gonna have to wait until there's more things going on. But what I can say, it's a subject matter that's similar to something that's in the ether, like a killer rideshare driver, but it's not a killer rideshare driver. It's something that's happened for, this, this, this has been happening for centuries and it still happens today. So that's all I'm gonna say. Um, and it's gonna be a different kind of style uh, movie. Um, it'll be a lot of fun making it though. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um, we do have one in the works and it's happening. So, people say, okay, Tremaine, are you gonna be making any more personal videos? Yes, I am. Uh, I don't have immediate plans to be doing that as of right now. Um, I believe once everything with the Rideshare DVD and Blu-ray is done, then uh, we'll do more uh, personal uh, vlog type stuff, some, I'll show you guys some, uh, some of my trip from Europe, Paris, uh, France, Lyon, we went to Vienna, Austria, we went to Monaco, we went to Venice, Italy, uh, we went to London, England, like, it's been a crazy whirlwind summer, um, and I will show you guys that for the personal channel, we're not talking about my personal channel just yet, but those that may be wondering, kill two, two birds with one stone, exactly, exactly. Um, Okay, oh yeah, okay, so the short form weird, weird videos that I used to make on this channel, will, will there be more of them? And Tremaine, will we see more of your acting? A lot of people liked my acting, uh, which I love acting as well, but you know, I've been kind of behind the camera um, as of late. Yes, there will be, um, particularly, Ah, I almost forgot to, to mention this. Rideshare alumni, Elizabeth Steen Nokelberg shot a movie, made a movie, and uh, she casted me in it. So I am in the movie. It's called The Heart of the Home. Heart of the Home, heart, the heart, heart of the Home. Um, and it was a lot of fun, uh, and I can't wait for you guys to see that. So actually, fun fact, Madeline Wade, who was also in Rideshare, she made a movie as well called Together, I believe. That movie's coming out soon. And we also have Curtis McGann and his wife. They made a movie, I don't know the title of it, but that's exciting, they made that. So it is so cool, a lot of Rideshare alumni making movies, which is really cool. Oh yeah, there was a web series, Brad Man himself <laughs> starred in, called The Chunky Zeta. It's kind of a, a uh, how do you say, it's, it's a comedy series, maybe have a few drinks when you're watching it, um, and kind of gross out humor type thing, but uh, yeah, have fun, that's also on Amazon Prime if you want to check that out. It's Bradman's pet project, so I'll let you guys be the judge of it. I don't really like the gross out humor as much, but there's definitely some funny writing in it, and it's funny seeing uh, Bradman, who is the killer Jason in Rideshare, uh, dress up as a uh, big boobed blonde sorority girl. So that is actually pretty, pretty funny to watch. Um, so Rideshare alumni killing it, coming through some, oh yeah, Joshua Lee Young, um, he made a short film, or he starred in a short film, and that's getting a lot of notoriety in the film festival circuit, so that's exciting. Way to go, Joshua, way to go. I'm trying to think if there's any other alumni. Um, oh, Mike Foley, who was one of the executive producers of Rideshare, he is in development of a web series called Dramatica, and that revolves around a strip club and all the uh, inner workings of that. So um, he's been posting on this with social media. This is why I'm telling you guys about that. So that's exciting too. So we've got a lot of exciting things from 
the Rideshare alumni uh, making some really cool stuff. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Okay, we also have a, which is really exciting, I'm crossing my fingers for this, another like a horror anthology series geared towards younger adults that we have in the very early pre-production stage. Um, if we, uh, if it, if and when it happens, it probably won't be till next year, but that is something that is uh, um, exciting just thinking about it, but I don't wanna get too ahead of myself with that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. That's about all, all the updates. I think I talked for long enough. I don't know how long I talked, 20 minutes. That's a good amount of time <laughs> for you guys. Um, hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you are making your dreams a reality. Uh, Cause that's what we're doing here at Hey Ho Studios. Shout out to everyone that watched this for the entire time. Uh, Tremaine Hey Ho here. I'm gonna get back to editing the bonus features of Rideshare. <laughs> All right guys, have a great day. Follow me on Twitter at Tremaine Hey Ho. Uh, follow the movie at Rideshare underscore movie. Um, and follow Hey Ho Studios at H-A-Y-H-O-E Studios. All right, guys, hope you're having a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Get ready for the ride of your life. Ride share. Proceed to subscribe. Hey Ho Studios. What the universe is watching.